Remember the days when you'd see Madonna or Britney or whomever dance around in a dress you loved and knew you'd seen it in a store somewhere at some point but couldn't quite identify it. Or after tireless online searching, you finally find it only to face the this item is no longer available disappointment. Well then, here comes some good news for you. The folks at luxury retail site essence.com have created the world's first click and buy music video with Wirewax. I, I, I just the baby, right? I got that OJ in there. The song I think she's ready features Diplo, FKI and Iggy Azuela, styled in various brands and accessories that are all carried by the site. By simply clicking on tags that say shop this look, you can literally click on the style you like and pick it up. The brand behind the campaign, Essence, were very, very good at uh, making sure that the video was out in as many places as possible. And it meant that uh, although they had hundreds of thousands of views, um, they were able to, I think it was about 30,000 people clicked through to the store to make a purchase in the first couple of weeks. So they um, instantly saw a return on that investment. And at, uh, I think it went on about 3,000 3, uh, different locations. And it was even trending on Twitter at one location at one point. So it meant that uh, uh, the video had incredible exposure. In the past, Wirewax has worked with brands like Nike, Rip Curl and Tommy Hilfiger to create taggable videos. Nike opted for a clean and simple tag, an orange icon, which tracked the items of clothing in each slot. With this video, the brand was able to get an average viewer engagement of over four and a half minutes for just a two and a half minute long video. Rip Curl launched the first of their interactive videos with their new bikini range. The campaign, entitled My Bikini, was designed to encourage customers to explore the range and find the bikini that suited them. They garnered a 2 minute 20 second average engagement from the 1 minute 10 second video they put up. And a brand like Tommy Hilfiger managed a 1 minute average view engagement from a 45 second video. Typically they come in around the sort of $10,000 to $12,000 mark um, and for the whole campaign, it, it, you know, typically they come in about $15,000. Um, but, you know, as I've said before, uh, clients are quickly seeing a return on that investment. So, um, whereas, um, I should say actually those costs are, are just one-off payments. So in the case of Tommy Hilfiger, when they paid for that one application build, that's a one-off cost and they use it time and time and time again on every single video that they produce now. it's unclear how widespread the idea of shoppable music videos will become or how successful the conversion rate for collaborations like this will be, especially since the price points of these outfits are so high. Just the outfit on your screen right now, for example, will set you back a pretty $3,915. That's over 2 lakh rupees. And with music video audiences primarily made up of young people, it's highly unlikely that many students and young professionals will have the means to immediately purchase designer pieces like these. However, if brands like Zara or H&M get into the picture, it could translate into a pretty lucrative e-commerce proposition. Oh.